Hello there. This is Mama Sarah here with a pop in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time specific or sign specific. So please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. I heard a song download and it was just a random song that said untouchable, untouchable, I'm feeling untouchable, untouchable. <laughs> I was like, okay. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know if someone's getting rejected. I don't know if there's like this strange. It's just a very odd energy. And a person here is basically untouchable, okay? It's like nobody can touch this person or nobody can do them harm or nobody can get away with something, okay? It feels very weird. Also, if my eyes are looking hella red. <laughs> I've been using this like lash serum and I feel like it's been contributing to my red eye as well. So just ignore that. I'm fine. <laughs> this, this energy though is not. Like I don't know what is going on here. But the cards will talk. It might be a very specific reading, okay? Not for everybody, but if it applies, it applies. Bottom, two of cups, okay? So soulmates, maybe I'm talking about soulmates here with the Wheel of Fortune. There is a shift coming. So whether this is to bring in two people together or have them introduce themselves to each other or meet for the first time or reconcile, there is a shift here with regards to emotionally fulfilling partnerships with two people who love each other equally. The Wheel of Fortune is the Wheel of Karma. So this could be good karma, bad karma, right? But things are turning, things are shifting in this combination. The Two of Cups is partnerships in ways and matters of love. With the Knight of Wands, this could be happening quickly. Let's speak as quickly. This person looks like a raging lunatic in the chariot. So this shift is happening fast, is what this is saying. Somebody here could also be driving fast or doing the most, I'm hearing. It's funny that I pointed out my red eyes because this woman, Cruella de Vil, has yellow eyes. It's charging. Something is charging ahead. Someone could be charging ahead. This Knight of Wands looks a bit kooky as well. <laughs> this is like kookiness, kooky kooky. Anyway, it's centered around a partnership. Okay, that's what the cards want to say. Five of Wands, drama, chaos, conflict. Listen, the cards are just speaking for themselves. Five, five, five. I'm hearing five, five, five with a hierophant. God is watching. Yes. <laughs> this mug says the world's greatest boss. <laughs> just, when you think of lambs or sheep, they're very like innocent creatures, right? I'm hearing God is watching. So this could be a boss watching, but I really feel like this is the divine. There's something wrong here. The five of wands is conflict. The poisonous apple could also be maybe somebody tempting another person to engage, I'm hearing, to engage in drama or to engage in an opportunity that is actually toxic. Like there's something off here. And I could feel it from the minute I sat down. With the hierophant, God is watching and I'm hearing untouchable, untouchable, the star. Someone here has a very big purpose or there's something that needs to happen with this wish, with the star card and the world, a huge cycle is shifting. I'm hearing God is watching, okay? Obviously this gremlin looking creature is not <laughs> God, but what I mean, something bigger than ourselves is looking at this globe. That's the energy that I'm feeling. With the Hierophant, that's usually my, my God card and it, the, the mug pointed out, okay? I'm also a coffee lover, so that's why I looked at the mug straight away. I admit, I admit. But the mug, filled with coffee, by the way, says the world's greatest boss. <laughs> so I'm just like, <laughs> it's like they know what they're doing when they're pointing out a, a coffee filled mug. Anyways, Five of Wands is drama. But it brings about change. The five of wands is conflict that brings about change. It's, it speaks of a transition, okay? Yes, really. The, the cards speak for themselves. The three of swords is on the floor, guys, with the moon. Something about it being in the reverse, too. I feel like something painful is exposed that maybe once was hidden with the moon card. It's like an illusion, an illusionist, I'm hearing. 
So somebody here wanted to paint a pretty picture of a situation that is really heartbreaking and brings forth a lot of con conflict, drama. These two cards being the first two cards is not positive. Something here is emotionally hurtful. So I'm just getting this deep sigh. Someone here is bringing on the drama and it hurts. It hurts because something here is not as it seems what's behind the moon. Six of Wands. So someone here was almost trying to fabricate a victory, fabricate. I'm hearing it, it, it smells like a sham. So it's like maybe somebody acts as though they're on top of their game. The Six of Wands is usually a card of success. It's usually a card of public recognition, okay? Being praised, being put up on a pedestal. And with the moon, it's kind of basically illustrating an illusion because the moon is not authentic. It, the moon kind of represents mysteries, maybe even lies, okay? So there's something here that hurts regarding a situation that was once hidden. These could be someone's true colors. This could be something that was maybe an illusion for a long time. Maybe someone was also in denial, okay, with the moon. There's a lot happening here. Right. I'll have you take a wild guess which card that is that just snapped out of the deck like it's like, it's me. <laughs> what in the good heck? It is the goat man. It is the goat man. They don't like the goat man. Me no likey. You see, it looks like whatever this creature is cultivated a lot of chaos. Because I'm seeing like this ghost rider with like a skeleton horse. I'm seeing a lot of craziness. Like there's this, this there's like a cultivation of craziness happening here with the goat man, but God is watching, the world's greatest boss. And I keep hearing that song. <laughs> I'm feeling untouchable, untouchable. I'm feeling, I don't know what this is. This is weird. Oof, six of swords. I'm seeing movement. I'm also seeing painful words exchanged. The Six of Swords is a card of transitions, but I feel this is like with the Knight of Swords, somebody here might have an opinion paired with the Goat Man. It's not a positive one. I'm also getting this energy of very judgmental person. Like whoever this character is, is always very judgmental. With the Goat Man, it's not positive. Why is, it, why is the Goat Man here? The Sun? Somebody could have done something for their own sense of happiness. I'm also getting something as being illuminated to a person. There could be a, knight, a king of wands involved. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius character. But I'm seeing somebody who's not happy here. So a light is being shed. When you think of the sun, it's illumination. A light is being shed on some kind of toxicity and a person here is less than, less than impressed. High priestess sideways. Somebody here could have gone against their intuition or somebody could have been illuminated by a high priestess. I feel like someone here kind of, oh, okay, now I'm getting it. Light is being shed on a sense of toxicity that a person's intuition already had an inkling about. So it's kind of like you have a hunch and it gets proven right. Someone here had a hunch about something toxic, hidden, painful, that would bring drama to a situation. And the divine is basically showing a person that they were right about this person. They were right concerning the situation. You were right all along. Your hunch is correct. Because the person here was kind of struggling with their intuition. Should I or should I not take this for toxicity or take it for happiness and bliss and something great with the sun card? But it's like, oh no, we're gonna shed a light on the goat man so you can realize that you can trust your intuition next time, boom. Might hurt, but you were right. Because it was one's intuition that was saying something about this illusion with the moon. Now the sun and the moon, however one puts it, when I see them, to me it's an energy of yin and yang, so this could involve a spiritual connection. Maybe truths are coming out centered around a spiritual connection, but with the goat man, there's a lot of toxicity around it. So somebody here is gonna find out some kind of truth here that their intuition had a hunch about. Ten more. Something flipped here. Yeah, it's, that was just talking about the spiritual connection. 
with the two of cups yes they're saying whatever this truth is whatever this reveal is whatever this conflict is the Wheel of Fortune is here to assist with the Two of Cups. So either this is going to push somebody away and have them like go within and, and move forward to partnerships that are emotionally fulfilling. Um, or it's, it's centered around a truth that involves an existing soulmate connection with the Two of Cups coming out again with the Wheel of Fortune. Isn't that weird? Like first it's up Two of Cups with this behind it. And now this jumped out, but this is appearing. This very, very significant. There is a huge shift here that is going to either assist soulmates coming together, assist two of cups energies to meet, um, whether it's for the first time, right? So whatever this heartache is that a person had a hunch about already is being illuminated and exposed regarding toxicity in their life. And I feel it's heartbreaking. So it's like, it's not just, oh, drama at work. No, it's personal, I'm hearing. It's personal. The Wheel of Fortune. Change, karma, destiny, I'm hearing. It's fated. It's fated to go down. It's fated to happen like this, I'm hearing. Oh, wow. And I'm, I'm keeping this. I'm feeling untouchable, untouchable. It's like this, this person is like running. I'm feeling untouchable. <laughs> Somebody here is still like, I don't know what that is. What is that energy? Why is that song coming out? <laughs> the hangman. For some of you, with it being cocked like that, it's like maybe it's causing somebody a release. Maybe it's causing somebody to open their eyes. Maybe it's causing somebody to shift from perspective. Maybe it's causing somebody to look at a person who maybe is like a snake or an anaconda in one's midst. This snake is staring. There could be somebody here watching a person very intentionally. I don't know why I keep doing this. <laughs> it's just too intense to stare. I mean, I got big eyes, I admit it, but this, this snake's eyes are huge, okay? It's opening somebody's eyes with temperance angel energy with the eight of cups. It's causing for somebody to like balance their emotions and saying goodbye to whatever this is. I'm hearing it's eye opening. This truth is eye opening. It's causing someone's sense of enlightenment about a situation they had a hunch about. It's like their gut was telling them one thing, but they were like, ah, oh, whatever. The moon is here. The moon is the illusion. It's like I knew, but I ignored it because the moon is here. And I'm hearing it's a lifestyle for some of you. It's a person. I'm just seeing this energy like, should have known. Yeah, it feels like that. that that's, that's how I can translate this. I knew it. But what did you do about it? I just, I just knew it. That's what I'm feeling. Someone here is getting enlightened. For some of you, this this enlightenment is centered around soulmates. For some of you, this enlightenment is centered around toxicity. Whatever this thing is, it's making somebody open their eyes. Five of Pentacles. For some, with Death card, this is probably causing shifts that affect one's pockets. It's also a card of abandonment. So somebody here could be leaving something out in the cold. Maybe the reality is that the situation wasn't that abundant. Five of Pentacles, however one puts it, is even a card of like finances dwindling, issues around money, a lack mindset, or just a lack in something in general. It's being put to an end. Like there's a shift happening here with a situation that is causing a change that in ways feels like I'm losing something. Now, if you're losing matters of the goat man, you're actually gaining so much more, just saying. So it's like if it was toxic, the trash took itself out. Yeah, man. That's what this is. Three of cups in the reverse. There is someone here who is in, in ways very much so associated with it. This king of wands is here again. And this king of wands looks angry. That's Jafar. There's a masculine energy here, man or woman. But it's coming up like a man. Let me be honest. Masculine king. The three of cups in the reverse is like the party's over. For some of you, this could have been a third party situation that is coming to an end with the three of cups in the reverse. It's like, I'm not happy here. For some of you, this person is the three of cups. However, one puts it is an energy of companionship. The way these two cups have a little one here, maybe there's something to do with family matters. Whatever this truth is, it's causing a sense of lack and almost like I'm hearing the word disappointment. This is not worth celebrating. The contrary. 
Ace of Wands, a new beginning. With the King of Wands there earlier, this is Jafar's staff. So it's like it's causing a person to, in ways, gain the power to have a new beginning with the Ace of Wands, gain the strength, gain the motivation to change one's life. That's why I'm like, I'm feeling untouchable, untouchable. And I'm seeing somebody run like, it's just so cute. Whatever this energy is, it's bringing in forth the Ace of Wands, which is passion, drive, motivation to do something, to change one's life to have a new beginning that is like worth going for. And I keep hearing, I'm feeling untouchable, untouchable, <laughs> this King of Wands with his staff. So for some of you, I'm also seeing a snake energy that could have acted out in rage with the, five, with the Ace of Wands and the Five of Wands. It's like blunt forced. Did I really wanna say blunt forced trauma? Bruh. And I'm hearing again, God is watching. Whatever this incident was. Tell me more. I was just going to say, whatever this incident was, it's going to change everything. We have the tower. That's creepy. The tower is a complete dismantling of a structure. It is nothing stays the same. It is a shift. It is this ends for good. And it felt so eerie because when I said that, I was like, I was in this state of amazement. I was in a state of shock that I even heard that and then I heard then I see the tower something here is going to cause a tower moment guys that is really not pretty yes it's burdensome I was like this is not a good tower is it and I'm seeing the ten of wands now this energy here looks very conniving but with the ten of wands it's usually a card of carrying a lot of burdens or this situation is very burdensome but it's that someone else's like there's a culprit here the tower and i and i i was like so silent because i was like this feels big the tower is probably one of the if not the extreme major arcanas that highlight a huge change but you know what when i see this hair from rapunzel that is like a rescue mission right isn't somebody supposed to climb up this person's hair save them like this here is a moment and that's why somebody here is untouchable. It's like, yes, the tower is here, but someone here is damn near untouchable because there's a purpose on this person's life. They weren't meant to stay stuck in the tower forever. Isn't that Rapunzel's story? And then somebody here climbs up her hair and saves her, right? Isn't that how that thing goes? Whatever it is, this person is special. And that's why they're untouchable. So it doesn't matter what people or other individuals try to do to this person. They're untouchable. And I'm here, I'm untouchable, untouchable. I'm, uh, yes, there's somebody here is feeling untouchable because I really feel like someone here literally dodged a bullet of a sword. It's like, I dodged a horrific event. And I keep hearing God is watching. So it's like, something here feels like it went really, really bad, but it's because a person ignored their intuition. And they had a hunch about this this for a minute so this person's intuition they maybe haven't used it to its fullest potential i'm hearing and now it's like bro i literally see it for exactly what it is it's eye opening it's i i'm literally hearing eye opening the tower for some of you this brings in a message that moves things forward a lot of swords it it feels more like the ten of swords but it's the nine i feel like someone here was i feel like they had multiple messages like you know when the nine of swords is somebody who's up at night who can't sleep who's getting a lot of messages maybe even nightmares like the nine of swords is usually a card of nightmares this is what the nine of swords usually looks like 
I feel like a person here has been getting a lot of messages regarding a situation that is to unfold. Look at the original tower card and look at the nine of swords. And this is somebody who's up at night. They can't sleep because it's like they've been getting messages. There's something this person is up against. They need to slay. And that's why they're to feel untouchable. This person is not scared anymore. With the tower, it is utmost upheaval in someone's life, causing them to wake up dramatically radical change i'm hearing so it's like whatever this truth is whatever this incident is it's causing radical change and it stems from a situation where it's like i knew i knew this would happen but you didn't either heed a warning multiple warnings i'm hearing so it's going to change things dramatically i feel like this person was maybe complacent like the four of cups is an energy of either not taking an opportunity this this card often feels a little bit foolish to me because this this pirate here is kind of like eh. but it's like cups are spilt this person could have been taking from multiple cups or like taking cups that were foolish whatever it is i feel there's like a person here is this that that that, that witch from the ten of swords this is a synchronicity did i not say something about this poisonous apple Someone here did something pretending to be this individual when they really caused 10 wands in this character. So it's like someone here, their true identity is being exposed. And it's it's a situation that is being put to bed, but it's like you already been you've already been forewarned, I'm hearing. You've already been forewarned the tower. Page of coins, ten of cups. Somebody here could be reaching out as a result. Somebody here could be approaching another person. This could be someone's emperor here who does want success, but they're now their idea of success has changed. This person's idea of success will shift forever with the six of wands. It's an emperor. For some of you, this is someone's like it's written in their contract in ways. Like let's say you have like a divine contract, right? Like you're you've been reincarnated for a certain reason. And there's something here, it could even be a karmic contract with a goat man out that is being fulfilled and completed with this tower moment. With a page of coins, I'm also getting this weird energy of maybe like, like this is being ganged up on, right? I don't like this. I don't like what I'm getting. I don't like what I'm getting at all. Because usually the page of coins is illustrated by a person who one single person who has one coin this is a very very odd odd <laughs> capital o d d odd message it's a very odd message you know this is probably not a good example but this is usually how the card is illustrated it's one person with a coin this is somebody giving the coin to somebody why is the page of pentacles illustrated by three characters with three coins for some of you somebody here was either paid to do something to another person it's like it's feeling like a gang like these like multiple people are basically closing in okay i don't like it multiple people closing in maybe there are like multiple people who are against a person or multiple people who are preying on a person it just doesn't feel pleasant at the bottom ten of cups emperor yeah this this emperor energy wants the ten of cups oh my head i slept so terribly on my neck so it's like i can't i can't move my neck what is this negativity that i'm feeling let's move the cards Yeah, I feel this person's been stalked, okay? They feel like stalkers. <laughs> stalkers. They are much like a puppet on my strings. Whoever this person is stalking is a person who likes to control another individual. Yeah, man, I listen. I had a run-in with the law. Yeah, this is not pleasant. This stalker, for some of you, will have a run-in with the law, my God. We have the stock. You see how they're just paired? They're like telling a story here. Yeah, outburst. 
yeah, this person maybe comes across. That's why I'm telling you, if someone's intuition has a hunch about something, it's because they don't have all the evidence. This person could have pretended to be something they're not, okay? It says, I'm a saint and I'm a sinner. I'm true and the deceiver. So it's like this person can give you one impression, but they're actually the deceiver. So somebody here is going to wake up about a situation they had a hunch about. It's like your hunch is right. Tower. This could copy, cause people to move out. What is this energy? Breakups, separations. That's what I'm saying. People could be moving out. This could cause breakups, separations with the delusion. Yes. This is my delusional cuckoo card. So a person here was very delusional about something or they were in a land of denial or la la land or it's like I'm living a lie essentially. This is not real, but I'm pretending it is. And then boom, something happens. Th this energy is going to cause a separation. For some of you, it's causing health problems. It says a doctor's visit is of utmost importance right now. I don't like that either. Jeez, this person needs to repent. That's what that's saying. Yeah. This is something that maybe a lot of people, like it's going to be kept hush-hush or there's this energy of somebody having kept quiet about another person's plans. Someone here knows this person was either going to do this or there's an energy of having kept it quiet. There's something here about a person keeping, keeping things on the low on purpose, either to spare a person but whatever it is, it's going to come out because I feel like somebody wants to tell. Somebody wants to spill. Somebody wants to confess about another person. Maybe there's this energy of like, well, maybe I can get immunity or something. If I, if I confess, maybe I won't get consequences if I tell on this person. There's an energy of a person here who's like, well, maybe if I tell all their dirty little secrets, I'll be spared. Like, that's what it feels like. I feel like it's one of these hyenas. This person... I feel like there's an energy here of somebody who was who, who was involved, but they weren't too closely involved, but they knew what this person was going to do or what they were doing. And they're going to say something about it. Wow. Somebody here tried to avoid karma. It says, I'm currently receiving karma for my wrongdoings. This is really something that could be illegal. Okay, when I see the gavel there, something here is illegal and a person knows about it. Yeah, this person can't be bothered with the truth. So they reinforce the lies. They, re they keep some kind of sham alive, but there's something about karma playing out. But I really feel whatever this is, it is illegal. For some of you, this has something to do with health documents. Health documents. Somebody here could have fabricated something regarding medical records. Like, I don't like the combination, but I'm feeling something weird here. Yeah, whatever it is, these people won't, yeah, blocked. These people won't speak anymore. It says, we're not on speaking terms, and I've been blocked on social media. Somebody here is getting blocked as a result. Like, whatever it is, it's unfor it's damn near, it, it, no. <laughs> it's like, I'm being corrected. I wanted to say it's damn near unforgivable, but then I was like, no, it is unforgivable. It's just unforgivable. Like, this is really like a final nail in the coffin, guys. I'm seeing somebody like straighten themselves out a little bit. Like, this is just too much. This is too much. This is too, it really feels heavy. So whatever this is, this is a final nail in the coffin. This is somebody who will never want to speak to this person again. And I hear that song, I'm feeling untouchable, untouchable. I'm just seeing somebody run. <laughs> this is weird. This is a very strange energy. It's just like a wave of energy that just hits. And as soon as I said that energy, it just feels very strange. I see the tower, like this is crazy. What is this centered around? Someone's very worried. For some of you, someone here is worried about a child. I have concern. Yeah, listen. For some of you, this problem was around money with sudden wealth here. Maybe somebody just wanted sudden wealth. Someone here is concerned about their health as well. Like someone here is literally concerned. And what I mean, I'm not going to get this card and this card jump out and somebody not being like, 
bad health, a doctor's visit is of utmost importance right now. This doesn't feel very positive at all. They're concerned about themselves. They're concerned about their wealth. They're concerned about what are they, what is this energy? Something in the reverse here. Official person in the reverse. This could have been assistance or somebody here pretended to be an official person that they're not. This could even be somebody pretending to be a doctor, pretending to be something, pretending to be. There's something here about a, an official person that is not as official. So it's like whether there's an energy of somebody pretending, this gives me like a, a identity theft energy, like I'm not official, but I'm doing it anyway, or I'm not, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be doing something because an official has to do it. There's something weird happening here. This is also the energy of like an authoritative figure. Why is this here? There could be a woman. It's like a woman's head sticking out and there's judgment here. There could be a female involved prosecuted I'm, be, I'm hearing despair someone here is in despair yeah false person this could have been someone in someone's family with family room false person thoughts someone here is thinking about partnerships that are meaningful to them versus the despair they're experiencing Somebody here could be getting fired because they could have, yes, like I'm getting this energy of like people getting either fired from a position, an occupation, or like a position in a person's life. Like someone's getting fired, like you are no longer going to be that person to me. I'm hearing I want no association with you. There's something drastic happening here that is putting a person in despair, but it's kind of dismantling a situation that was really fabricated or was like a lie. Like this is very strange energy causing for a lot of like it just feels extreme it just feels it just feels very unpleasant let's see if there are any meaningful messages from this deck that wants to come out for this energy that that card literally wanted to jump out and it went right back in broken ring Parting of the ways in either romance or business. Broken ring. Parting of ways in either romance or business. For some, it's both. Diamond. You'll be receiving a, an, or giving a precious gift, success, and an older man. Dealings are relationships with an older man. This could be the king of wands I was picking up on. We have success and we have a gift. So I'm seeing somebody trade something. So it's like there's something broken in a situation that a person really invested their time and energy in. And in this person, I feel like there's a shift happening here. It's like from absolute destruction comes something beautiful. Yep. New home, new attitude. Exactly. So I really feel this is the new structure. The previous tower that is being dismantled was actually not meant to, not meant to be in the upright. Where is that card? Whatever it is, it's like it might feel horrendous, but it wasn't meant to be. And it, and this incident highlights exactly that I'm hearing. So if somebody here was confused, you will no longer be confused. Your hunch is right. I'm here to say the hunch is right. It has everything to do with some kind of sudden truth, some kind of incident. I'm hearing it's an incident. This is the structure that's being dismantled. But it being shaken up by lightning is God's mighty touch i'm hearing wow there's something here that the divine is watching very closely but it's it's going to bring in the new new home new attitude beware of great pride somebody here maybe have had their pride and ego get in the way of a situation this was probably built on ego and pride Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. What did I say? I'm feeling untouchable, untouchable. I'm just seeing somebody feeling so untouchable. Like an angel is watching over this person. I'm getting chills to my toes now. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So they've been divinely guided, guys. Whoever this is, if this is you, if you feel like you're in this predicament and something about a hunch here, like you're being divinely guided out of a situation that is coming to an end anyway. 
always was going to. I'm hearing it came with an expiration date. The writing's been on the wall. Wow. Because there's a rat. Someone working against you behind your back. You see, this is God's angel and a rat. So there, they've been that hunch. Yes, I'm hearing that hunch was divine guidance about a rat. Someone who's basically lurking because they don't want their identity known. And I said it too with that nun energy there, whether it's a man or a woman who is against this person, that nun energy with, with um, it's like somebody here who really pretends to be a saint, but they're a rat. I don't like this card either because I already had three cards that reiterated poor health. What does this card say? Pay attention to your health. Someone here, whatever this incident is, it's going to make a person like value either themselves, their health, their life. Like it feels very odd. Club, yes, because there's a club here. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. It's like blunt force. Like when I said blunt force, it's like cane and club, like... There are other cards here. This is weird. This this energy is just weird. It just feels very like force. It just feels forceful. Canes, clubs, brooms, <laughs> rats. Whatever this is, is going to make a person pay attention to their health or pay attention to something they probably took for granted. I really need my Soul's Journey Lessons cards because this is just very, very weird energy. Keep hearing that's I'm feeling I'm not sure. whoever this is, they're gonna know God is on their side when this unfolds. Yeah, and they'll likely have courage because this is somebody who yeah, I, I don't know. This is a lesson. This is definitely a soul's journey lesson here. Change, radical change. I'm hearing radical change. That's what the tower is too. It brings about changes abruptly. Abrupt change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. They're being moved. <laughs> it's like guided. For some of you, this is all about love. Maybe in matters of love. Maybe love was at the heart of this. Whether somebody that was in love with them. Are they in love with someone else? I have no idea, man. This is crazy. But love is centered around it. It says, I commit to, to the practice of seeing the good in all things. <laughs> in this case, that is very hard with whoever this is. Yeah, action. This person could have been indecisive, okay? Somebody that maybe thinks a lot with a thinking man or a woman. Yeah, look here. The divine energy is wow. This, this, this. <laughs> These cards want to run away. Hostility. Listen, I couldn't make this up even if I tried. But they're being divinely guided. Listen, that third eye, they were shown. They were shown. For some of you, this person was shown what was going to happen in their dreams. For others of you, there's a gut feeling, like gut wrenching feeling. I'm getting physical, physical signs. With hostilities, yeah, man, it feels hostile. And I keep hearing this, I'm feeling untouchable. Maybe this person thinks they're untouchable. Who is this person? This is like physical. This is somebody here in the image who wants to get physical. Maybe they think they're untouchable, but God is watching this person. I keep hearing, I'm feeling untouchable, untouchable. What is wrong with you? Happy family slipped right back in. Cornucopia. This person is being shown the way, the door to happiness and healing because the hostilities are coming to an end. Yeah, blossoming abundance. Listen, it's going to get better. Whoever is in this predicament is to get better because there's deceit here. For some of you, somebody here needed to be very patient with divine timing before all of this revealed itself, came known to a person. Deceit, hostilities, patience with the situation, angel of love. Wow. 
cornucopia. It's like somebody here was restricted from their abundance in life because all these good cards are coming out, but I'm seeing hostilities, restrictions. Very odd energy. <laughs> it's making my stomach turn a little. Very strange. Very, very strange. And I, that song keeps buzzing in. I'm feeling untouchable, untouchable. Another one that hit me too was, I want you to be happier. I want you to be happier. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Very strange. This is to this is actually for someone's betterment, but I don't think it's a it's a smooth road here. Okay, whatever this is, it just feels yeah. Let me get this deck. It just feels very very odd. Be bold and make the first move. Maybe somebody here needs to move forward and be brave. I make it up leo energy confidence is your key to success there's someone who is either doubting themselves doubting their hunch they need to be confident in whatever it is they feel intuitively i'm hearing their animal instincts balance spirituality and practicality this person needs to seek balance in their life because I, whoever this is it's like this is so overwhelming for whoever this is that it's urging them to seek balance in their life again there's something better. I'm hearing so much better. Yeah, they have the opportunity already. With opportunity and there's something better. There's definitely something better than this. This energy is very, 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 very hostile, toxic, and negative. And, and, and there's betrayal all over this energy. But these, this person will know. It's just going to absolutely uproot this in, the individual's entire life. Yes, <laughs> the situation will improve. So whoever this is, don't get discouraged. For some of you, you're being blessed with a very precious gift after this difficult season. For some of you, this could be business um, with somebody else here. There could be somebody older than you or wiser who's giving you advice. Yes, yes, it looks like the same man. There was a card here. Doesn't this guy look like... Yeah, well, tea leaf, this tea leaf deck has a lot... It's kind of... It's like a... It's inspired by... Um, the Asian culture and certain ways of reading one's fortune. They, they use tea, tea, maybe there was tea readings or tea leaf readings. Anyways, there's somebody who is very wise. That is, I feel counseling a person about their health. This could be someone older. This could be a father figure. Whoever this is, they're telling somebody about their health, whether mental, physical. It has a lot to do with this person gathering success in their life after this period. They could be getting a gift from somebody or giving a precious gift. This person has been definitely guided from, from the very beginning. And I'm hearing God's children. Wow. So this is like, this is why they're untouchable. I really feel somebody had it out for this person and it doesn't feel pleasant at all. These people don't feel pleasant at all. I don't know who the heck they are. I'm hearing they're crazy. So what I said, that energy is thick. That's what I have for you guys. If this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.